Hey guys, it's Michelle and in today's video I am going to be sharing what I eat in a day to lose weight. Last week I mentioned I'm starting a new series called Wellness Wednesday and so today I'm just going to show you what I've been eating and I hope that you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, comment down below what you're eating to lose weight and let's get started. So of course we begin with breakfast and for this morning I had some eggs so I just sprayed some Pam in the pan which is great it doesn't have any calories and then I just scrambled up two eggs I seasoned mine with some pepper and just a little bit of sea salt um, and yeah that was it sometimes I have egg whites but today I just had the entire egg and then I had two slices of turkey bacon now once that was all done, I just put it in the plate and I also included some avocado and some oranges, which I've been really into. These are actually blood oranges, um, they call them cara cara and they are so sweet and delicious. Now along with my breakfast, every morning I have some type of tea and this morning I just had the green tea with lemon. Of course, green tea is known for helping your metabolism, like speeding it up, and it just has a lot of health benefits, so I try to include that every morning. And that was my breakfast. The next thing that I ate was a snack. It was my pre-workout snack, and I have these one protein bars, which are amazing. They taste so good. It tastes just like chocolate. But anyway, it's full of protein, 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and it really gives you that boost right before you go work out. Then it's lunch time and for lunch this day I just made my own salad at a salad bar so I have some mixed greens along with corn and chicken and red kidney beans, uh, some cucumbers, just a whole bunch of veggies in there and it tasted really yummy. I find it's the best way to get your veggies in and I have some balsamic vinegar on top. And of course I cannot forget to mention my ice cream tea from Starbucks. I tried to have a small snack in the afternoon and today I just had an apple, they're really filling and it just holds me over until dinner. So for dinner I had some split pea soup which was absolutely delicious and it's full of fiber and a whole bunch of veggies so I'm just going to walk you through the process of how I make it. Now to begin you're just going to get 3 cups of water and soak the split green peas in them for at least an hour. Now to start the process of softening the peas, I just boil or simmer mine for like 5 minutes and then I take them off the heat and just let them rest for an hour. During this time, I prep my vegetables. So you see there I have one potato, some carrots, an onion and some celery. So you're just going to peel your veggies as well as chop them up. I dice mine because you want them in fairly small pieces um, so that you know they cook down with the soup. And so yeah, that's what I did while the peas were soaking. After an hour, I just drained the peas and then it was time to make the soup. So in the same pot that the peas were soaking in, I added some olive oil along with my onions and I just sauteed them up until they were like golden brown. And then I just added a few cloves of garlic that I chopped up. So I allowed the onions and garlic to cook for like a minute and then I added 6 cups of chicken broth along with 2 cups of water. I mixed that all together and then I flavored my water. So I used quite a bit of seasonings for this. One of which was these chicken bovillions, I think I'm saying that right? <laughs> so I just put one in the water. I also used onion powder, garlic powder, margarine as well as some black pepper, some seasoning salt paprika and a little bit of cumin. You don't want to use too much because it is a strong spice. So I mixed it all together and then I added the green peas and I cooked it for about an hour to an hour and a half on a low medium heat. Now throughout the hour I would just go in and stir it up because they can stick to the bottom of the pot so I just stirred it every now and then. After about an hour and a half, it's time to add all of your vegetables in. So I added the celery, carrots, and potatoes. And I let them cook for about 25 minutes more. You can actually check the vegetables and once they are tender, you know that the soup is finished. Aside from green tea, I also drink water throughout the day and I love to drink these Pullen Springs sparkling water. It's raspberry and lime flavored. It just gives me a little switch up when I'm tired of drinking plain water, so it's really yummy and no calories. 
So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more of what I eat in the days. And uh, yeah, I hope that all is well and that you are continuing your wellness journey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.